Welcome back guys, hope your Tuesday is going good. Well today I decided I wanted to do a driver review video. I've still got some more driver review videos that I want to put together, but today's video, obviously you're going to see the title so you're going to know who it is, but it's 1984 Cup Series Rookie of the Year, 1989 Cup Series Champion, that would be Rusty Wallace. So uh, these cards are in no particular order, I do kind of have them sorted out by driver cards and car cards and then some that were in top loads and stuff. But no particular order, we'll start off with this 1998 Max 10th Anniversary card. I always like this set, and these are some of my favorite cards of Rusty. Uh, and, and I'll explain some of them along the way, but I always like this because they had their trophy design in the year that they won the championship. Of course, this is not the card that he won the title with. There you see the years going from 92 to 98, Rusty's stats. So always like that card. This is from 2003, Press Pass Stealth. No boundaries. Kind of has that cracked ice look. Of course, it is a die cut card, it is an insert. We got some newer stuff in here. Retro series checkerboard, Rusty Wallace. Is this 21 Donruss or 20 Donruss? Uh, 21 Donruss. So we've recently pulled that one. 1992 Black Max. This uh, is a significant card in the fact that this is Rusty's first win for Penske Racing South at Bristol in the spring of 1991. There was the top 10 in qualifying, there's the top 10 in the race, and there's the top 10 in the points after this race. I believe it was the sixth race of the year. Yeah, race six right there. Retro-rated rookie, Rusty Wallace. 1984 was Rusty's rookie season. He drove for Cliff Stewart. I believe Daryl Bryant was his crew chief that year. Here's another card depicting Rusty's rookie season. And the iconic number 88 Gatorade Pontiac. Many longtime fans will associate the 88 Gatorade car with Die Guard, but that, of course, 83 and 84, the 88 Gatorade car was Cliff Stewart's owned team. This win right here is a 1994 Max card, but it depicts the 1993 race at Bristol. This race was significant. So the uh, weekend that Alan Quickie had passed away in the plane crash. There you see it talks about Alan a little bit there. Rusty won the race. And another Bristol memory. This is Rusty's 50th career win. I can't remember exactly what year this was. Probably about 2002, maybe? 2000. So 2000 is when he got his 50th career win. Of course, he ended his career with 55. 1996 Ultra. Is that 96? Yeah, 96 Ultra. And this uh, car here, Rusty's Miller car, from 1991 to late 95 was just the black and gold. Then in 96, they add a little splash of color to it. Of course, there's the car in 94. This is a 95 Select card. Here we have a... Income statement card, press pass, or I'm sorry, upper deck income statement. That was a noble car because it's got the red valence, the red spoiler, and the red number on the roof. So that would have been a noble five race. I like this card just because you have that number as the background. I always think that looks pretty solid because racing is one of those sports where you do associate a font style, a particular style of number with a driver. Gear shifters. Always thought this was a neat little set. Die cut card. Press pass in 1994. Of course, this is 97, but in 1994, come out with the Cup Chase. They may have had some in 93. I'll have to go back and look. But it was really one of the first interactive games. If your driver won one of the races on this, then you could redeem it for a set of cards. If he won the championship, you could uh, get an additional set of cards, I believe, and a race-used card or a relic card or something. I, I got one of Tony Stewart in 2005. I always like this from 97 Premium. It has this translucent part in the center. Flip it over. just has the driver's profile and then a little bit of information about the driver. 1992 Black Max. Rusty was, of course, the 1991 IROC Series Championship. We have another card here. I think, is this 20 Donruss? 19 Donruss? Of course, we've talked about this before. I believe this is late 1988. This is at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I don't believe... Yeah, this is the Winston win. So this would be 1989 when he won the All-Star Race. Then we've seen this one before. I believe this is 1987, the fall race where Rusty won the pole position. I'll have to look up that. But that uniform is too clean for it to be an 88 or an 89 uniform. Rusty, once again, 
Um, this would have to be post-1994, because he does have a Ford. He switched to Ford in 1994. McDonald's All-Star Team. So this is probably 94 or 95 when that picture was taken. 1997, they went from the black Miller car to the white Miller car. And this is previewing that car in 1997 Press Pass. 1983, Rusty drove this car for a handful of races. I can't remember. I believe John Childs was the owner. Yeah, John Childs. He had a horrible flip in the qualifying race at Daytona, 1983. 1994 Max, Polish victory lap. Alan Kowicki used to do that every time he'd win a race. Final race of the season, 1993, Rusty Wallace won and did one of those in tribute. Then we have, uh, they called these chameleons, or car millions. Of course, this was the car Rusty normally drove, and for one race, he had a Kodak sponsorship. So I thought that car looked strange with Kodak livery all over it. Always like the VIP of this area, because you have the nice color photo, and then kind of a silhouette, black and white, or just many shades of gray, if you will. Nice looking card there. Pit Stoppers, always like this series, just thought it was really cool. Kind of gives you a little bit of information about where this was taken. Rusty was one of the first drivers to fly his planes. Of course, we know Bobby Allison did and a couple others, but Rusty really took it up a notch, had thousands of hours in the air, and was uh, one of the best pilots on the circuit. This would have been from 1991, 2, or 3, not real sure. Let me see here. You don't have a lot of contingencies. I'm going to say this is probably from 93. Let's see what it says. Nope, it says 1991. But, you know, from 91 to 93, unless you got real particular on the contingency decals, it'd be really hard to tell. Talked about the 88 car from 1984, his rookie season. There's a little bit of paragraph that talks about that. It's going to be from 88, 89, because 87 Pontiac uh, had that boxy nose and the... the SS style window, the coupe style window. So 89 when he won the championship. This car only ran in 1990. Last year he drove for drag racer Raymond Beetle, and the first year he had Miller sponsorship. So they'll talk about that. Finished sixth in points that year. He only ran this car one season, 1985, also for Cliff Stewart Racing. When they lost the Gatorade sponsorship, they dropped the number 88, switched to number two. They had Al Ugard, one of Rusty's sponsors, hop on board, as well as Spectrum Furniture, which was the uh, furniture store that his car owner, Cliff Stewart, owned. From uh, 1993 Indy Testing, Brickyard. Of course, 1994, they switched to Ford. This is 1991, Pro Set, and it's the debut year of Rusty in the 2 car. I'm going to kind of zip through these a little bit quicker. We have a VIP. What is that? Lap Leader. Just a nice looking card there. Front and back of that one. So we have an Assets. I thought this was a neat card, just the way the texture is on that card. You can really see that red and blue splash on the side that they did during 96-97 era. Really added a little bit of color. Always like this die cut, cut set here from Wheels. Because there's a matching one that has the actual driver on it. Gives you a little bit of information there. I'm flipping these over, so if you guys want to read the backs of the cards, you can pause your video and read it. Of course, 1996, they had the first exhibition race in Japan. Rusty did win the pole for that one. I believe he won the pole. You know he had a pretty good run. We have another card here. can't remember if this is 96, 97, 98 collector's choice. They had these dated really weird, but just like that iconic blue and white nose coming at you. Then we have another one. This is from 1995 Upper Deck. So that picture's going to be from 94. And Penske always has some slick-looking haulers. They're always top-notch first-class stuff. From 2000 MVP. Got a nice view of Rusty there. And there's his career stats from 89 to 99. $20 million in career earnings. Not too shabby. We've got some cards that I've actually got sleeved up. Some of those I need to get sleeved up. I've just not done so yet. So we have Under the Lights from VIP. Not sure what year. But at 2000. But it is numbered 26 out of 250. This is one of my favorite insert sets. Flag First from 1997 Max. 
will tell you about the first win that they got and then the year they got it and then gives you kind of their uh, season earnings and qualifying position start. I'm not sure what that means. He didn't. I'll have to figure that one out later. Oh, start the 72nd start of his career. That's what that is. Uh, virtual velocity. Virtual velocity. I believe this is 96 upper deck. Yeah, 96 upper deck. Nice looking card. Got some newer stuff here. Donruss Elite Series, numbered 560. Apologize for the glare. 560 of 999 from 2017. Donruss. Steel Horses, and this isn't the Steel Horses we pulled out of all them. This is not the Carl Edwards Steel Horses that we pulled out of the 2012 uh, Ignite cards. But this is from Press Pass Premium 99, and it's die cut. And it's a very sharp looking card. Steel Horses. We have the Snake Eyes. I believe that's 97 Viper. Yeah, 97 Viper Snake Eyes. We have another uh, checkerboard. Dominators. 2020 Donruss. I'm trying to date this uniform, too. So it's post-2004. He's in a Dodge, so it's 04 05. His 05 was his last year. So it's going to be one of those two years. I really like this card, 97 Pinnacle Artist Proof. That blue background in the car, it just that's just a super sharp looking card. So it's got his statistics through the middle of 97. So this was a late release in 1997. Got this real nice illumination. Can't think of what the parallel's called. Is it a cracked ice? It's kind of a cracked ice, but um, 20... 18 Panini Prism. So Illusions, kind of the rainbow, whatever. And then the last card we're going to look at is 95 Upper Deck Speed Merchants. This is just on the where I, I had a tag on it a long time ago. I like the fact that the card goes from virtually non-existent to you can have this 3D. And I, I like how that just... How he kind of changes... And the technology for 95. That was a very nice looking card. So Speed Merchants from 1995. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned a little bit about Rusty Wallace. Um, you know, a little bit about his career. A little bit about him. Um, Going to continue to do these driver uh, reviews. As I kind of get sorted through my cards and get things organized a little bit better. I know some of you have requested some drivers. I'm still working on those. I'm just trying to get them separated because I don't want to go through and show you 16 or 20 or 25 cards from a two-year period. I want to go through them, pick the ones out that are really nice, pick some out that tell stories, and can kind of have you guys, uh, oh yeah, you didn't know that Rusty drove a two-car before he drove the Miller car and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I don't know if I said what day it was at the top of the show, but it is Tuesday. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow.